Welcome to People with a Free Gift. This is the podcast where we talk about two things. What is a cult? And how do you share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them? And today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 characteristics of a cult. So we're going to be answering that first question. What is a cult? And all of these things are very, we're going to run through this really quick. And in future videos, we're going to get more in depth into each one of them. And if you have particular questions about them, throw them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. So number one, they all have a centralized leadership structure. And that means that they receive their authority from God. They speak on God's behalf. Is ne they're never wrong. They must always be followed and they interpret scripture for you. Number two is going to be the bite model. And that was uh, put forward by Stephen Hassan. And that stands for behavior control, information control, thought control, and emotion control. So under behavior control, the group controls your time, money, relationships, eating habits, clothes, etc. And they have you often participate in bizarre rituals. Number three, information control. This is where the group members are only allowed to read group produced materials. They withhold information. They lie. They change history. They have a pyramid style doctrine. And they encourage members to spy on one another. Number four, thought control. And this is where you're not allowed to ask questions. You're taught thought killing techniques. Contention is of the devil. No legitimate reason for leaving. Attack the person instead of facts. Doubts on the shelf. And dismiss scary facts. Number five, emotion control. Emotions are a source of truth, manipulation, peer pressure, social consequences, fear and guilt, good feelings from God, bad feelings from Satan. You I have irrational fears. You, they, they use passions against you. There's no forgiveness or knowledge that you have been forgiven. And they practice the double bind. Number six, high demand discipleship. This is where covering theology comes in. Or the group makes major decisions for you. Fear that bad things will happen if you don't comply. Number seven, outside core Christian doctrine. And this is, notice, the one out of the ten criteria that I have for a group being considered a cult. And so this is, those core Christian doctrines are all have sinned, that Jesus is God, Jesus is human, the gospel, and that is that Jesus died for our sins, he rose again from the dead, and that resurrection was physical and bodily. Salvation by grace alone through faith alone. Number eight, scripture twisting. And this could be inaccurate quotation, twisted translation, ignoring context, wordplay, speculative readings, selective citing, inadequate evidence, rejecting biblical authority, or redefining terms. Number nine, unique scripture. This could be their own translation, a new revelation, additional scriptures, or unique interpretation. And then number 10, one true church. And this comes with the belief in a worldwide apostasy, corruption of the Bible, nobody else is saved, most correct book, and the best approach to Christianity. And so those are my top 10 criteria of a cult. If I miss something, please put that in the comments down below. If you have a question about one of those criteria or one of them in particular that you would like for me to highlight, or if there's a particular group that you would like for me to measure by this criteria, there are actually, there's 10 on the small scale that we can measure them by and then there's 62 of these specific criteria. Now, those 62 are not things that every 
occult practices. It's just these are well-known, documented uh, examples of how these groups practice these 10 criteria. And so I would like to extend some invitations to you. Uh, first of all, if you like material like this, if you want to know more about what is a cult and how to share the Christian gospel with them, then please subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it with other people, comment down below, all of those things that we do. The second is all of this content and, uh, and more is in this book that, uh, that I wrote, Sharing Jesus with the Cults. It's available on Amazon uh, in paperback or Kindle, and it is free with Kindle Unlimited, but it's also free to all of my Patreon uh, supporters. And so go to Patreon, type in People of the Free Gift, go to the, those links will be down below for the book, as well as Patreon, and consider that and now, um, the last thing is that I would like to extend an invitation for those of you who would be willing to be interviewed on my channel. And here's what I'm looking for in an interview guest. I'm looking for somebody who has experience either ministering to uh, a particular group uh, that would be considered a cult by some, or uh, those who have uh, become members of those groups or those who have come out of those groups. I would love to talk with you. I would love to, one, I would love to hear your story of how you came out of one of these groups. Two, I would love to interview you about these criteria and see what kind of score you would give this group in terms of how cultish are they? And then three, if you have uh, experience ministering to people in these groups or sharing the gospel with them, I would love to hear your techniques about how, how to most effectively um, reach them with the gospel and be able to share that with my subscribers. And so that's my invitation to you. Now, just a little bit about myself. I don't post very often. Um, I need motivation to be able to post because I'm a PhD student in New Testament at Dallas Theological Seminary. I'm a full-time pastor and I have a family of five. So time is very precious to me. And so when my subscriber counts go up, that's when you can expect for me to post a new video. So please be supportive of this channel if you like this content and get it out there and help other people find this channel. And let's help people who are in these groups that are caught in religion, let's help them experience the true gospel of Jesus Christ, that assurance that they know that they have eternal life. And until next time, may God's grace be with you.